In this video, I'm going to show you the most easiest system for generating PO videos like this ones And the best part is you can also post them automatically on TikTok, on YouTube Shorts, and on Instagram Reels. This is an entire system that I built out in NA10 and you only need one API. So let's jump right in and let me show you how this system actually works. So as you can see right here, we are inside my NA10. We have simply just a couple of nodes as you can see and we have one api the api that we're using i'm going to be straight up with you here is blotato and blotato is one of if not the best apis to generate the posts and then also post them on pretty much any platform because if you want to go and post on facebook on tiktok you really need to go through the entire process of you know first generating the api keys and second signing up for their api so this is the most easiest way i'm currently using the plan which is 29 dollars a month which is starter and here i can pretty much do pretty much anything right and i can do also I have like 1,250 AI credits per month for AI images and videos. So, so yeah, this is what I'm using. So, uh, yeah, let's just get started. Let me break this down for you. So, first here, what we have is we have obviously execute workflow node. This is really just a simple node so we can execute the workflow. Second, what I did is I had edit and edit fields node. By the way, you can go here and you can just add edit fields. And this node will actually populate the Blotato uh, API key which is right here which we need for generating the videos and the script the script is not dynamic so the script will stay the same this is just as an example for this video however you can use ai agent and use OpenAI api to actually generate the script as well so here we have the api key how do we get the api key we simply go to blotato and we want to go here to settings and we want to we want to go to api and here on this purple icon you want to copy api key okay once you copy the api key you simply want to paste it here now this is going to be dynamically populated in each new node in na10 okay so that's what we have here pretty simple from there what we have is we have an http request node you simply go here you type in http request node and what we have is we have a generate video node so in this case we're using a post method and when you we're using this url now this is a url for generating the videos in na10 okay through blotato api so how do we how did we get this uh, url we went to the documentation here in blotato api reference create video and here, as you can see, this is the base URL and this is the URL, the addition to that base URL, which is for video creation or video generation. So that's what we added right here, okay? So this is where this link is coming from. Then we've added send headers and we're using fields below. The name will be Blotato API key and this we just dragged from here. So we just drag this in here and this will populate the API key from Blotato, okay? From there, we're sending the body using JSON and this is the best part. So you can simply go drag and drop the script here. Style can be realistic. Also, if you want, you can go to this documentation. I will link it down below and you will have all the styles here. So if we scroll here, as you can see, you have style and these are all the styles that you can choose from. We choose realistic. You can also choose mystical, horror, gothic, fantasy, and on and on, right? So this is what we've choose here template this is an id from the template so if you want to do the pov videos just like we did you can use base pov wake up for this right here okay then we use a text to image model because we're turning the text our script you wake up as pharaoh we're using that text to image or that script to turn to image so we're using text to image model and this is the model we're using here so what you can do is you can go here to documentation and here you have text to image model. Keep in mind, you can use better models. You can use more sophisticated models. If you're using text to image, if you're using image to video, you can also do that right here. You can use, you know, different models here. You can see that the default model is flux dev for the image text to image and for image to video cling 1.6 pro is the default model okay so you can simply copy what model you want from here and you can just go to here and you can just paste it now keep in mind when you're copying the model and when you're pasting the model make sure it's either text to image model or image to video model right so in this case we're using text to image so we're going to be copying one of these here once this is done we can go back here we can you know let's say we want to paste this 
we can paste it here and this is it this is essentially the body that will call the api to generate the pov video from there once this is done we are going to the next node which is a wait node i actually turned this node off however i want to have like one disclaimer here if you are generating a video from text to image again you can put a wait note to be between three to five minutes it could be you can test it out like how easy or how fast you're getting the output and you can test this out if you add the another http request here which is called status for me but it's actually an http request node and i added this here and if i go here I just added the item ID here on top of this link. So if I go here, this is the link. So it's uh, the same link from the previous one. However, we just added the item ID and that item ID is coming from this node. So it's coming actually from this ID, okay? So we just drag and drop that ID from the wait node to here. And then what we're getting, obviously the Plotato API key stays the same. JSON, using JSON. And this also is like this, okay? json script is from the the video that we've uh, added in a previous node again this will all be in the wait node however i just wanted to give you a disclaimer that you know once you execute this status node you will see how long it actually took to generate that video okay so this is the link for the video if i copy this and if i paste it here this is how it's going to look like so that's the video now the part where you know you can either do again text to video or image to video we did text to video so that's why it looks like that if you want to have sound you can also add sounds so you have voice here so if i go here you have voice id and then you can choose from the 11 labs voice ids as well and you can add these as well in here in the body right here so that's what you can do right so again uh here for the wait note you can kind of test it out you can also go to your blotato backend and if you go to api dashboard here you can actually see the duration of each creation so for this it was 411 milliseconds so it's quite fast actually uh, and then you can also put that right here you can put in seconds you cannot put milliseconds so again you know if it's like in milliseconds you can put one to two minutes which will be enough for this then again we've added the status which again i just explained that we're getting the media url and then once you have the url you simply want to post this to any of your platforms whether that's facebook TikTok, instagram twitter you can post to many platforms and how can you do this you can do this by going into blotato and you can go here to settings and in settings you can add a new account so how can you add a new account you simply go log in with TikTok here for example and then as you can see your TikTok account must be warmed up before connecting so make sure you have this set up again blotato helps you with this in terms of you know telling you what's important what's not important and then you just simply proceed and then uh, you know you will just need to go and authorize the tiktok account here as you can see and then once this is authorized you will have it right here okay the tiktok will be connected so these are all the accounts that i connected and then you have also the account ids you also have for example for facebook you have a page id as well so if you want to now uh, post this to for example let's say facebook we've added another http request node and we've added this right like that backend blotato.com slash v2 slash posts because we're posting the method is post and then we're adding uh we're sending headers blotato api key this is the api key that is coming from the edit fields keep in mind for me it's in red because i've pinned the data i've actually pinned the data this is the pinned data just to show you so pinned data essentially means that this is the data that was generated before but i actually just pinned it so that i have it for you know for presenting for this video and then uh in the json body here again same json body like before but in this case we have a post account id this account id is actually the id from here because this is for facebook and we have the text which is the text for you know for the facebook and then we also have media url which is a media url that is coming from here media url okay and then we have platform which is facebook we have target type which is facebook and then we have page id which is going to be this page id so you just copy the page id so let's say you want to go and you want to post to tiktok you simply want to go here you want to go back and you want to duplicate this so you just duplicate this you drag it like this you go here type in tiktok you rename it and then you simply go here and all you can do is account id you just put the account id you delete the page id because that's not relevant for this one and if you want you can actually go here and you can see publish posts 
in the API reference. I will link this doc down below, by the way, so you can have it. Here you can see how you can publish and you have request body, target, object. You have pretty much everything right here, okay? So this is for YouTube, for threads, for Pinterest, for TikTok, as you can see. So these are all the fields that you need for TikTok, right? So you just put those fields in here, okay? So it's different for Facebook, different for, for TikTok, but this is pretty much it, right? So yeah, that's the entire workflow. And again, I just use one API for this, one API, which is Botato API for, you know, posting, generating the videos and then posting the videos as well in just a couple of nodes. This is a very easy system and you can also do this on scale. If you wanna post this every single day, you can delete this uh, right here. And instead of this, what we can do is we can add another trigger, which is going to be a trigger, which is on schedule. So for example, every single day between, let's say trigger at 3 a.m., for example. And then what we can do is we can go here, we can delete this, we can connect this. And now every single day, Blotato will actually go generate the video for you and post it on your behalf on Facebook, on TikTok, on any platform you want, okay? You simply save and you more want to make sure this workflow is active, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to check out Blotato, I left the link down below and also I left a documentation below so you can also follow along with this video. If you want to see more videos just like this one, comment below, leave a like below and also subscribe to this channel because you have nothing to lose to learn more about these type of videos. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.